As I'm joined with Chief Meteorologist Carson Vickroy. Carson, you know, it, it, it unseasonably warm, especially mm -hmm. for February right now, but it really is the wind that yep. has taken these fires to the next level these past few days. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's been very dry mm -hmm. over the last couple of days, Casey, we were dealing with heavy rain earlier this year, yeah. but we can't seem to buy a rain chance right now if we need it in, and we do need it right now. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the record high temperatures. 87 degrees for both Tyler and in Longview. This breaks the previous record set at Tyler back in 1977, so it took 47 years for us to break this record. Longview hit 87 as well. The record is 87 set back in 1986, so we technically tied the record there. So it was a very warm day, and as we look at these high temperatures for Tyler, now the high temperature at Tyler today, it got edited from 86 to 87 in the regional report, so that's where we came up with the 87. But as we look at the remainder of your February highs, it's been very warm. We have now seen four 80 plus degree days today, and tomorrow should make it five 80 plus degree days in the month of February. And as Casey was talking about, fire danger, it is on the higher side right now because these winds have been strong. You combine dry conditions with very warm temperatures and strong winds, you will tend to get a high fire danger, and that's exactly what we have. 10 to 15 mile per hour winds right now, and that's going to be the case for tonight. Night. Temperatures, they're holding in the 70s currently. We may fall another 5 degrees, but that's about it for East Texas as cloud cover begins to increase, especially from the south and to the west. Satellite and radar, the Lone Star State is clear, but as we look off to the north, this has been pretty impressive. So I've got several friends in Montana, and they have been posting all day about the blizzard-like conditions that have been occurring up in Bozeman, Montana. Now, we are going to get a piece of that cooler air. Air. It's not going to be super cold. We're not going to see a freeze or anything like that, but there's the cold front. It's a long way away and it will be moving across the Midwest and portions of the deep south as we head into tomorrow and then again tomorrow night. But a warm start tomorrow morning, 60s, mostly cloudy skies. No concerns for your outdoor plans tomorrow. We should be all right. Five o'clock tomorrow evening. Temperatures will be in the 80s in the front. It becomes roaring in like a lion Wednesday morning. That moves Moves through. We still have some cloud cover Wednesday and Wednesday morning, but temperatures, they are going to be stuck in the 50s for most of the day. In summary of all this tonight, we are down to 68 degrees, windy conditions as well. High temperatures, as I mentioned before, this will be the fifth 80 plus degree day that we have seen at Tyler and most of East Texas will see 80s as well. High temperatures forecasted to be in the low to middle 80s. And as we look at your next seven days, this is what to expect. Wednesday and Thursday, much cooler conditions, perhaps some showers late Thursday night and Friday morning. We're at 78 Saturday, 81 Sunday, a few showers and thunderstorms possible on Monday. Deep East Texas, similar deal, 84 for your Tuesday. Windy both Tuesday and Wednesday. The only difference will be those winds will be out of the north on Wednesday, dropping our temperatures from the 60s into the 40s Thursday morning, 58 Thursday afternoon. Then we begin another warming trend through the end of the weekend. Casey. All right, Carson, thank you.